the big thing for brands that's uh, holding back social is sort of a fear aspect from executive management. And this doesn't necessarily transcend across all brands, but you know, really it's being able to put yourself out there and not be scared of, um, you know, what people are going to say about you. What's key into getting that buy-in is to show that the community really fosters community in and of itself. And what I mean by that is that if, you know, something negative does come out from, you know, either, let's just say, you know, customer service issue, um, nine times out of 10, me personally with Udi's, um, we have found that our own audience will address that for us without anyone from the company. So many organizations are bifurcated within their marketing groups between brand and direct response, each with their own discrete set of KPIs. And the new social KPIs haven't really been adopted by either. And so what you have is two things. One, you have uncertainty around ROI from social. And the other thing is, is you don't have necessarily the right KPIs to, to, to take and make good, solid, and actionable optimizations throughout your social plan. I think probably the easiest way to do that is, since I'm a data geek, is you know, really to get into the data and see what the data is saying about what you are offering your audience. So effectively, is there value behind what you're saying and is it driving engagement? So it's nice that you know you may be driving fans, but if you're not driving engagement, you have no long-term value. So you know, I think really to simplify this overall, it's to look for what brings long-term value versus short-term flash in the pan, so to speak. And I think one of the key things is, is accepting, we all read this and we hear this, but it's very hard from a creative strategy and an optimization strategy to really adopt the idea that what you're trying to do is drive a healthy conversation about the products and the brands that you have. And if you haven't assigned KPIs and if you haven't made any technologies into your plan that help you to truly gauge that and then actionably optimize to it, then ultimately I think you're going to be bringing a search or a display strategy into social. Well, that's actually one that obviously Graphitech loves to answer because we have a platform that is designed to do exactly that. But I really think that it's honoring the analytics that you can get out of your own communications, the ones that you're seeing that across a myriad of different attributes or a myriad of different KPIs are driving true engagement, whether or not it's shares or retweets and figuring out your model for identifying which of your own content should be put in to a sponsored story, obviously along with that implied endorsement of, you know, a friend of a friend. One key thing there, since we're talking about three different things, uh, to bring them all together, it's really centralization of data. And then um, being able to not only look at that data, but then take action on that data, so have something that's meaningful. So, you know, really I think what's, what's key to that is being, being able to identify um, what works for the brand, and then take that cross-channel. So if it's finding a new segment, if it's finding a new topic of conversation, it's it's really, um, virality is not a strategy, it's really an outcome. So being able to identify um, where that has taken place or where it looks like it's taking place within your Facebook channel to then um, take that cross-channel, I think is, is key to that.